morning guys how is everyone doing it's a new week um it's resumption week um for most students i think some other students resume next week but the bulk of students in nigeria resumed this week i think those in the uk even resumed like a couple of weeks ago so happy resumption week resumption period parents happy school fees paying day oh my god i don't know what is going on okay let me just hide it because i don't know what's going on with that part of the week um i just got it re revamped but yeah yeah anyways so happy resumption week happy school fees paying week you guys i've joined the bandwagon of paying school fees <laughs> my family and i are now paying school fees so people and it's not even funny like it's, it's it's not even it's just not funny at all like i i don't know i don't know you people that have been doing it way before us man you people did not tell us this was how it felt like at all and at all but we move we move so tisha started school yesterday um i was in a hurry doing a lot of things because it was resumption i couldn't really vlog her first day in a new class it's still the same school that she's in but it's just a different class and guess what tisha has school uniform now you guys my baby has school uniform i'm going to show you her school uniform um i'm just quickly getting ready for work because i'm going to work and i'm going to drop her off i'm going to drop her off at school before i go to work but just wanted to come out here yeah, start the vlog this week it's tuesday it's not too early to start the vlog it's not too late to start the vlog for this week so um yeah i'm going to show you guys what she looks like now she's <laughs> she's swimming in her uniform um they, t they told us that we should take it in like put it like um make it smaller but i i think it's all right honestly um she doesn't she doesn't really care i don't really care either um i think it's fine she'll grow into it um something that's by 12 or 1 now you'll soon change her into our because we're taking extra clothes for her so we'll soon change her into our extra clothes um so it doesn't really matter but the, the whole school the whole school uniform thing just makes it so formal and so official and so grown like i feel like my daughter is so grown you guys <laughs> um yeah uh, she also has spots where they'll give us that when it's ready um i haven't bought school shoes like you guys this is first time mom problems if you're a first time mom i'm sure you can relate so i remember i kept seeing all over on instagram where people were uh saying oh they bought their children's school shoes school bag and in my head i'm just like it's not a big deal we can buy it the day off we just buy it and order it and tell somebody to bring it home but that's not quite like it because i've been looking now and i haven't found tisha's size she wears a 24 25 and actually 24 is a perfect size but i like to buy a size tad bit um one size up uh because because when she wears socks so it's not like too clumsy or too tight inside so um so yeah I'm, she's a 24 25 and i haven't seen 24 25 <laughs> she's here oh my god and i haven't seen 24 25 of our shoes anywhere the ones i've seen they're super expensive and i'm not in the mood to be spending that much on a school shoe that she will soon outgrow lunch bag and she's trying to climb up here she don't fall down lunch bag and school bag too i don't i don't understand but somebody has given me a plug for somebody in lagos island so i'm hoping that comes through so i can get it for her this week or next week um yeah but that is rant about school resumption you people you people you people i don't know it was like this when mothers were saying they have bought their children's school bag and all that i don't understand that this is how the thing used to go but i think now i'm starting to understand because i dropped the share off yesterday at school and i saw all these kids with their school bags and lunch boxes and i was like oh, that's how it feels listen 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 anyways if you have any tips on the school shoes to get for her Tisha is about to turn off the slides i said it i said it and that is why when mommy talks, you don't used to you, you used to do as if mommy is just talking anyhow. Don't touch it though. So if you have any tips for where I can get her school shoes from, um, or I don't know, very affordable, please. I'm not buying school shoe of fifteen thousand. I'm sorry, I just I, I just don't think I can. I can because the next two three months she's going to outgrow it. No, fifteen thousand twenty thousand, please. That's not what we are looking at. Tisha, stop. Anyways. If you have plug for me, Sha, for school shoes, let me know. I would greatly appreciate it if I have not gotten one by the time this vlog goes up. Tisha! What Tisha looks like. Look at her in her uniform. Oh my god. <laughs> Tisha said <a> cheese. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. She's, she's the cutest. <laughs> <laughs> hey 
Hey you guys, what's up? Uh, just came back from school runs. <laughs> this first week has just been all over the place, you guys. Seriously, <sighs> it's been bitter, sweet. Actually, not bitter, sure, but it's been stress, stress in my chest. And I, I haven't gone to work this week. This has been my off week. But yeah. Anyways, um, I'm back home now, and I'm trying to edit my media kit. And I'm trying to, you guys, I'm trying to shoot my shots to brands. Like, I've just, <laughs> I've just been telling myself that this time I'll just sit down and just be waiting till brands come to meet me. I mean, I've been working with a couple of brands and I'm thankful, but I, I just want more. I want, I want more brands and I want more diversity in the brands that I've been, that I, I want to work with. Um, I feel like I want to work with more beauty brands. So like skincare, hair um makeup i don't know if <laughs> that's such a thing but hair makeup skincare um, um motherhood you know um yeah this year i've also been saying that i want to do talks like i want to i want people to invite me to seminars and stuff to and it could it doesn't even have to be like seminar like like a physical place it could just be like instagram live or something I've been waiting for people to invite me, but then I'm just thinking that maybe I should just start my own Instagram live on my own phone and just talk about the things I feel like I want to talk about. But then I feel like I would probably be sounding like a broken record because I already have a YouTube channel where I talk about the things that I care about. So it's like, why are you having an Instagram page to do the same thing that you do on YouTube? Yeah, but or i invite guests on the instagram live but who do i want to invite like what do i even want to talk about but that's a, that's the thing that's one of the things I've, i wanted to do this year i've not been able to do it and it, it, it makes me sad in a way but then again i think about it that i have a very tight schedule busy schedule but i don't know but anyways i'm trying to share edit my media kit you guys because i'm trying to shoot my shots to brands like I mean, the worst that would happen is I would send them an email and they would reply me and say no or not reply me at all. So that's the worst that can happen. The best thing that would happen is they reply me and say, oh, send me your rate card. Oh, I'd love to work with you, blah, 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 blah. But now we stand in. I learned something from Nilo KK a while back. And she said, you know, for, for you to get brands to notice you, you yourself, you have to, you have to put yourself out there. So I have decided that I want to start like... The, the brands that I want to notice me, I'll start working in that angle. So, like, I'll start maybe doing hair videos or, like, reels or stuff like that. And, like, skincare. I already do skincare reels um, so that they can notice me. Because there's also some... There are also fun things that I like to do. Yeah, it's not as if I'm going out of my way to do something that I feel very uncomfortable with. It's the things I like to do. So, it's just that when I think about it, I'm like, hmm, this thing costs money. And But, you know, your brand people always say... Oh, well, I think well, well, it's money you used to look for money <laughs> because a lot of times I want to do um, like fashion hauls, you know, because I want like fashion brands to also notice me. But hmm. ordering all these things from Sheen, ASOS, Zara, hey, it's not small money. <laughs> and this is me that I barely buy clothes, like, I just keep wearing the ones I've had and I just keep recycling them, so I barely buy clothes. So, having to now start buying Sheen, ASOS, Zara, and apparently that's the only way other brands can get to notice you. But to carry 100k now in business to buy clothes, <laughs> when there's so much Bukata calling my name, <laughs> you know, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, that's just my little rant. If you guys have any suggestions for me, Sha, let me know. That's why I come on here to say some of these things so that if you have any tips or suggestions for me, please let me know. And um, yeah, so let me get back to editing my media kit. And that's it. That's it. <laughs>
Mama D. Hey, yummy mommy. Please remove your hands so I can see Josh. See Josh. This is, this is the reason why I came here. I've seen Jasmine before. I've seen D before. I don't care about them. Actually, I still care about Jasmine. I was going to say, I'm sure you still care about Jasmine. Tell the truth, it's me you don't care about. Besides, uh, I understand. Eh? Uh, you're not giving rice. See how he's looking at us as we're eating. Eh? Uh, okay. Jasmine, you don't want to say hi. Eh? Uh, Jasmine. So you're watching Come on, say hi to Auntie's vlog. Hi! You want to say hi? Hi! 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 <laughs> she said hi. She asked, she's like, please, please don't stress me. Guys, I'm eating one mad fried rice like this, like right now, and dodo. And you know, the funniest thing was that when D asked me if I wanted to eat, I said, no, 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 I'm being polite. No, I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat. I said, okay, you know, I don't mind taking it too. Oh, then what I don't say no. The rice is very mad. It's very, mad. It's very, very mad fried rice. And plantain and fish. Mm. So yum. Thank you guys too. Look forward to that our video. The videos, one is on this channel, one is on my channel. Look forward to it. Very juicy videos. You will absolutely love them. Yeah. Hey guys, how's everything going? Good morning, good morning, good morning, because it is morning. <laughs> yeah, it is Saturday morning, and yeah, I am heading out to uh, Intuition School. They have this parents um like when you just resume there's this like seminar they have for parents um and just you know like just telling parents what the children are going to be doing during you know this term and all those things and you know parents have questions and all that so it's kind of like pta meeting but it's not really pta meeting so yeah so that's why i'm headed to this morning i'm going there uh it starts by 10 and I should be leaving the house very soon. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say a few things before I end today's or this vlog that you're watching. I know I started this vlog talking about like school resumption, first time mom school resumption issues. I even made a post on Instagram and um, yeah, so I also wanted to say that I already got Tisha's bag. You know, I remember I was asking you guys for tips, for bags, for shoe to buy for her. Oh, you want to say hi? She's here, actually. Hi! <laughs> Aww. Hello. Hi. 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 We're going to make this your head tomorrow. <laughs> Right, she's gone anyways so yeah i know i started this um week talking about first time mom <laughs> resumption week and some of the things that i have learned so far well i posted that on instagram um i'll share some of them here real quick also but i remember i was asking you guys to tell me like where i could get bags affordable like school bags and school shoes and well people sent me stuff on instagram but they weren't so affordable in my own book and then so earlier this week my mom told me that she was going to lagos island market she was going to echo to go and buy some things you know that she needed and i was like i'm not doing anything can i tag along <laughs> and she was like oh yeah sure so we ended up buying tisha's bag at lagos island market and it was so affordable this is the bag i eventually got for her um the lady was saying oh do i want pepper do i want sophia i was like my Fortunately for me, my daughter has got has not yet got to that stage that she knows like, oh, this is what I want or whatever. So this is, I don't know, Hello Kitty or whatever, but it, this doesn't really bother us. It was just my mom that was saying, I, didn't, I don't want Barbie. I don't want Barbie. <laughs> I don't know what my mother has against Barbie, but um, we got this. Um, so, she, you know, she's not, it's not so she has books to carry or anything. I particularly like it because it has this, ins is it insulated? But it just keeps food warm, Sha. So we put her flask, um, our baby is even still here. Our wipes, our lunch, our cereal, because she takes lunch and cereal, then our fruits, she takes fruits and biscuits inside and it contains everything. That's why I love this bag so much because every, like we don't have to carry two bags, that's basically what I'm saying. So everything fits in here and this small compartment, I don't know whose child is shouting like this outside. We just put her change of clothes in here, I put it inside this bag 
and um, yeah we just put it in there and then her communication book so you guys I was so excited like super excited to get that bag and it was so affordable like guess how much we got that bag for because I was seeing bags like that on Instagram and I was seeing 15k 20k and it was when I saw that was 40k and I was like eh? but we got the bag for 6,000 6k 6,000 and it's going to last us this semester and I'm super hyper, I'm super hyper and happy and excited about the gain or the bargain that we got and I know that some people have already reached out to, to, to say they wanted to get t shaped bags you know her godmother is getting her a bag <laughs> so I'm not even going to worry about that anymore like t is good on bag front and I got her a shoe is this are the shoes that I got for t they're so cute they're so cute super cute and they're so durable i like the sole the back and the back of this one um tisha's size is so hard to find she's a size 25 and for some weird reason the size 25 is so scarce in the market i don't know why um but uh so honestly her size right now is a 24 but when she wears the socks the 24 is a little too snug so that's why i'm trying to get her a 25 so that yeah it might be slightly bigger but when she wears the socks you know it's a it's a it's a nice fit and then she grows into it also so it was so hard getting this 25 it was so hard but we eventually got it um and i guess she'll be wearing this for a while um yeah but the shoes are so cute and you know very affordable it wasn't like the back to school ads i was seeing on instagram that were costing like 15,000 20,000 I, I just couldn't understand why they cost that much honestly um so yeah 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 you guys that's that's what this vlog has been about it's just been back to school things resumption things and you know from the perspective of a first time mom i said on instagram that my contentment my level of contentment was almost tested honestly because i was just like my eyes would you me come 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 i wanted to buy everything for her um but then i also had to remember that um i need to teach my child to be contented with things um not in a way that brings down our self-esteem because you know there, there were ways that some of our parents did it and you started having low self-esteem about it you know but in a way for her to understand that you know you should be contented with what you have and i feel like if i am not brazen myself how do i explain or teach that to her so um yeah that's and i know it's been really hard for first time moms i, I know even like pregnant moms commented that you know even them like they feel like buying the whole world even those that are getting married we're talking about how um they've it's been so hard to stick to their budgets because they want this and they want this and they want that but at the end of the day you just gotta do it you just got you just gotta be contented and you just have to stick with what um you 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 need not exactly what you want so i had to get to share what i thought she needed not exactly what i thought i wanted do you understand so yeah um that's what this vlog has been about and um yeah i hope you guys learned one or two things you know i like to end the vlog with some nuggets you know some nuggets that i feel like you guys can relate to it and you can just you know hold at the back of your palm and um yeah so yeah that's the end of this vlog <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i am added out now to it's not pta meeting it is just school and parents and teachers conference type of thing it's supposed to be for about an hour um yeah and i'm editing i'm editing now and yeah i will see you guys in the next one thank you guys so much for watching like this video like this vlog subscribe to my channel share with everybody that you know and i will see you guys in the next one bye